I'm gonna be looking at the brand new releases of Mini Barbie Land. I have two Barbie Land houses. I have this one with the slide and it looks like it's a living room, bathroom, bunk bed kind of situation. And then I have this one, which has like a kitchen and I think that looks like a garage with a slide to the swimming pool. And then I got three vehicles. We've got the little Jeep, the, I guess we're gonna call this the camper and the airplane. Each one of these comes with a figure I believe the figures with the houses are mystery figures, but you can see the ones that come with the little vehicles. On the back of the packaging is a little more detailed image of, I guess, the interior or accessories and the little figure. On the back of the houses, it's supposed to be a mystery figure, but I wonder if it's just this lady who comes with this house and maybe this one who comes with this house. We'll see when we open it up. I got all of the mini Barbie Land toys from Amazon. They retail for $9.99 each for the houses. And I think the little play sets were like $5.99. I'll link to it on my Amazon storefront, but let's get these things opened. So here they all are out of the packaging. First, we have the Jeep, which has some good amount of painted detail silver hubcaps, uh, we've got pink seats, teal blue windshield outline, a lavender base, and a hot pink undercarriage. Pretty cute. It also comes with this little tent, like a camping set. The tent has a little bit of painted detail in the back, like kind of this faux zipper situation and like painted lights and then more hanging lights. I think they're supposed to be lights from this, um, I don't know what you wanna call this, this awning. Uh, and then there's molded plastic detail as if the flap of the door has been rolled up. That camping set came with this figure. She's got kind of long blondish hair. She's wearing molded plastic shorts and a sleeveless top, some sneakers, and she is standing on a little heart-shaped base. All of the figures are and she has that kind of old school poly pocket detail of being able to bend at the waist. She does fit in the Jeep and she can sit inside the tent, too tall to stand inside of it. Next, we have the plane. The plane does not have as much painted detail as the Jeep. Uh, it's just all kind of this solid purple color on the outside with a white back and white wings. You can open it like that and inside it is purple. There are two seats, one in the front, one in the back. Otherwise, not a ton of detail in the little plane, but the little figure can sit in the back or in the front in the pilot seat. This is the figure that comes with the plane. She has long dark hair. She's wearing like a little molded plastic jean skirt and kind of like a tie dye top with I think a gold necklace and like hot pink sneakers on a little matching hot pink heart-shaped base. And again, she has that waist articulation. Then the last vehicle I have is the little caravan, which I think like the full-size place set has this reversible top. You can put it like that and then it's like a little pool. This also doesn't have as much painted detail as the Jeep, oddly. No painted detail here for the headlights. Yeah, it's just kind of all, oh, and the stripe is only painted on one side. Uh, it does open like this and the inside is all silver. We've got seats and a kind of teal colored dashboard and then this little kitchenette area with a, looks like stove and a sink. It's definitely cute. And the figure, for this set is a deeper skin tone. She looks like she's wearing little overalls and like a little striped tank top. And again, she's got pink sneakers in the pink base. Again, she has the seated position and she can sit in the caravan in the driver's seat. So now we'll look at the houses. Um, here is the first house. The back has some molded detail in the plastic. This looks like kind of an apartment or a townhouse vibe. I like all this little detail. I just wish it was painted different colors. 
Then inside we have upstairs, we've got this little bathroom area with a little toilet and sink. And this must be the shower. Open that, you can see the shower head in there. Again, missed opportunity to paint out the details, which I don't know, may have increased the price, I don't know. But every time I see this kind of molded plastic stuff all one color, I just want to paint it. I have done some Polly Pocket repaints because of that, um, the modern Polly Pockets. Uh, but here we have the little corner bedroom with little bunk beds, and we've got like a closet and a mirror in the molded background. And then downstairs, oh, I can move the slide, that's cool. Oh, I can just remove the slide if I want, that's great. Okay, so if I remove the slide, you can see better. We have a living room with a fixed couch in the corner, which oddly, the couch seems to have its back to a television, that's a little strange. But it is, looks like it's permanently fixed there. And on the other side is a kitchen with a refrigerator with like a see-through door and a little oven. And I don't know, I guess a cabinet and the sink. Again, just molded plastic all one color. And then we do have a door. And also on the other side, we have an elevator. And it does move up and down. So we do have this slide that can attach there. And then we have what I guess is supposed to be a little pool. But there's also this tiny little chair. So cute, the little hanging egg chair. Where does that go? Oh, I think it goes here. That's really adorable. I love that there's a little chair. And finally, we have the surprise box. Uh, I believe the figure is in here, the mystery figure. Oh wait, there's more than one thing. Here we go, there's something else. Oh, there's a couple other things. We have, oh, I think this is a tree stump. And we have a tiny turtle. That's cute. And this is our figure who was not the figure shown on the back of this packaging. She was shown on the other packaging. She's wearing like a little red dress and a little gold necklace. She has a deeper skin tone, little red shoes. Looks like a heeled shoe and her little red heart-shaped doll stand. And that is because she can stand in the dollhouse. There's various little places for the heart stand to affix, including in the elevator. So that is really cute. I took the egg chair out just so you can clearly see. She can sit in the egg chair. It also looks like there's more than one place you can put the slide. It looks like you could put the slide over here, here, or here. So I'm gonna put it over there. For now. So last house uh, came with a little yellow bed. And we have a two-story, I'm guessing this is supposed to be the back of the house and then this is the front. So we have two doors that swing in and two little faux planters on the side. Uh, this looks like it's supposed to be a garage because there is this molded plastic detail of like a Vespa scooter type situation. And then we have these little steps to the second floor deck, which is a pool with a slide. And then inside, oh, the doors actually swing out as well. Uh, we've got a little pink kitchen and we've got a refrigerator. And interestingly, doesn't that look like an oven hood above the refrigerator? I think this is the oven over here. And I actually don't see a sink, but upstairs, we have a little tiny bathroom, which seems to be missing its shower. It just has a little sink and a little pink toilet. And then this must be the bedroom area. Again, molded plastic detail that isn't painted out, so it's a little hard to see. And again, we have an elevator that goes up and down. Oh, there is, I just noticed, there's little slots for the bed to kind of sit in and not just fall out. And then in here should be some surprises. Okay, first we have a figure. 
Again, this was not the figure pictured on the back of the packaging. This lady has kind of long brown hair. She's wearing like a pink little party dress. Looks like she's wearing little heels and she's got a pink heart-shaped stand attached. And again, that stand is for being placed in the house. And she's got a bunch of different placements. She can stand facing the bathroom mirror. She can stand over here. She can stand in the kitchen facing out the back window. Interestingly, she does not have a place to stand in the garage, but I mean, with the, with the doll stand, she can just stand up on her own. Now, additionally, what do we have? We have a little rabbit hutch with an open top. Here's the little ramp to get inside and a tiny little bunny, so tiny how tiny that is. So I couldn't resist adding painted detail and first I tested it out on the little vehicles, just adding a little bit of detail and I actually used acrylic paint pens. I then went on to add detail to the houses, both inside and outside. This did take a while and I will link to the pens I used because they worked out pretty well. Some things I had to go over multiple times to get it some good opacity but I actually liked how it turned out a lot and I actually took the tops off the houses to really get into the corners uh, obviously this is really tight space it was kind of difficult to do but I really like the results I even popped the couch out of the back corner so I could get to the TV and fireplace and painted that detail too, even though you can't see it. When using acrylic paint on plastic, it is easier if you use some kind of gesso primer, and then you definitely want to use a sealer, uh, possibly uh, Mr. Super Clear or some type of sealer top coat so the paint doesn't scratch off. I actually didn't do that for this. I just didn't think it was necessary because I don't play with it necessarily. And here's the back of this house, which actually was easier to paint than the back of the other house, probably less detail or whatever. But overall, I really enjoyed the process. Off camera, I also opened this little set, which is a tiny Corvette and this cute little Barbie Way sign with a mailbox. It's really adorable. I just wanted the sign, honestly. And this is the figure that came with that set. So for size details, the tallest house is about four inches tall. The figure without the base is almost one and a half inches tall, but not quite. And for scale, here I have a Rainbow High doll and a Barbie doll just for comparison. I really love these little sets. This is great toys for dolls, dolls for dolls. I love miniatures. I really need to build a full out toy room for my dolls. It would be so cute. But let me know your thoughts by commenting below.